In this video, we are going to do a question where a person is depositing and withdrawing money, but the interest, interest rate is going to be changing as well. Now this can be confusing, but if we stick to the techniques we've learned thus far, then it's fairly easy. We are going to, I'm not going to show you the slow way of doing this because it becomes very slow when you have interest rate changes as well as deposits and withdrawals. This is where the FOST way is much better and 95% of teachers will also encourage you to use the FOST way. So I would encourage a timeline with this kind of question. Um, some people can visualize it quite nicely, but what I have observed is many students do do a lot better if they can visualize it on a timeline. Some teachers don't show you the double timeline technique, which is a technique that I love to use. It shows you the interest rate changes on a separate timeline to the inputs or the withdrawals and deposits. So let's do one timeline for now. Now this timeline is going to show us all the money coming in and coming out. So Greg starts with 9,000 Rand. Okay, so that's money coming in. We can think of it like that. That's going to be at T0. That's in the very beginning. A year later, so at T1, he deposits, that means more money is coming in, 7,000 Rand. Three years after the initial investment, so the initial investment was at the very beginning, so what they're actually trying to say there is after three years, he withdraws. So at T3, he will withdraw 4,000 Rand, so that's money coming out. And that's it. That's that timeline complete. No interest rate shown on this timeline. Now we're going to do a separate timeline which will show us the interest rate changes. So the interest rate changes are given to us here in these uh, with these bullet point forms. So it says that year one and two, so that means from the very beginning till the very end, the interest rate is going to be 8%. Okay, so from T0 up to T2, the interest rate there will be 8% per annum. Year 3, 4 and 5, so right till the very end, because it's a five year question over there, up to T5 it will be an interest rate of 9%. Okay, now it's fairly nice and easy to see what's going on. So in one of the previous videos to this one, and if you haven't watched anything that involves me using a bar graph, I would definitely recommend you watch that. And you could also watch the question that involves a man called Vusi, where he, I can't remember, I think he buys a car or, no, he invests money and the interest rate changes. And towards the end of that video, I showed you how you can link all of the, or lump all of the brackets together. Okay, that's going to be very important for this video. So I'm going to start with the bar graph technique where we, well, where we'll look at the 9,000 Rand separately. So let's, okay. So here I've drawn in the 9,000 Rand. Okay, so it starts off with an initial amount of 9,000 Rand and then it's going to grow, it's going to have a bit of interest. So for two years it will have the 8% interest and then for the further three years it will grow for, it will grow with 9%. Okay, so let's just say here uh, two years and then it will grow for a further three years. We're now going to go up to our initial timeline, which has the 7,000 Rand. The bank has told us that for the first two years that the account is open, the interest rate will be 8%. Greg puts the 7,000 Rand in one year after the account is open. So for how long will that 7,000 Rand still grow using the 8%? Well, only for one year, right? because the bank's only giving us two years at 8% and after the first year Greg puts in the 7,000 Rand. So it's only going to have one year at 8%. So over here we will say 8% for only one year. Then the bank changes its interest rate to 9% but that 7,000 Rand is already in the bank at that time so it will get that full three years at 9%. And the last graph that we need to put, or the last little bar that we need in our bar graph, is the 4,000 Rand withdrawal that he is going to do. 
So I've drawn in the 4,000 Rand, but let's go up to our timeline. The 4,000 gets taken out at year three. So how many years will that 4,000 Rand not be in the account? Well, it will just be for the, f for the next two years, right? And what kind of interest rate does that account have at that point? Well, it's the 9%, right? Because after two years, the bank changes its interest rate to 9% right until the end. This 4,000 Rand gets taken out after three years, okay? So it gets, so when it gets taken out, the bank's interest rate at that point is 9%. So that 4,000 Rand will not be in the account for two more years, okay? And the interest it would have earned if it was there would have been 9%. Now that the bar graph is complete, we simply go and calculate each part separately, like what we did in the video involving the person called Jane. So we take, we look at the 9,000 Rand, and we're gonna see what that 9,000 Rand will be worth after we've compounded it all together. Now remember the question that involved the guy called Vusi, we said that if the interest rate changes, you can just put the brackets next to each other. So what that's gonna look like is this. It's going to start off with 9,000 Rand. You're then going to grow that 9,000 Rand for two years at 8%. Then you could go calculate that, of course. And then what would you do with that answer? Well, you would then let that amount grow for another three years at 9%. So instead of typing it on the calculator now, I'm just going to add the bracket like this. Okay, so let me quickly show you what's actually happening behind the scenes there. We first calculating this part. You can imagine doing that. And then whatever that answer is, you would have used that for the three year part over here. So we taking all of this, we working what so we, we working that out, and then you would have used that as the new p value. For the, and then you would have worked out what the, in, what the value is after another three years. But instead of working it out on the calculator and then doing it in two separate parts, we're just going to do it all in one big calculation. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so if you did have to go type all of that on the calculator in one big step, the answer that you get would be 13,594 Rand. 696. I'm just going to do three decimals until the final answer. Okay, so we've done this whole bar graph over here. Then we're going to do the 7,000 one. So that's, let me just scroll up a little bit here. So that's going to equal 7,000 Rand. And that's going to grow for 8%, only for one year though. And then three years at 9%. And if you have to go type all that on the calculator, your final answer for that will be 9,790.419 Rand. Then we just have to do this 4,000 Rand over here. And so that's going to be 4,000. And that's only going to have um, interest of 9%. Sorry, 9 over 100. And for two years. And that gives us an answer of... 4752.40. Now what you do to work out the total amount that Greg has is you just add the two amounts that were deposited and you subtract the withdrawal amount of 4752.40. And if you put all of that in on the calculator, you get a final answer of 18,632 Rand and 72 cents.